Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the CS47 CB radio from Radiodity, and we'll get started right after this. The items that come in the box, you get the instruction manual, mounting bracket, radio body with attached power cord, parts kit, which includes the mic holder, and the microphone itself. The instruction manual is rather short, but it's concise. It's only a few pages. They tell you about the radio, give you basic instructions on how to use the radio. Then they go into all the menu options, including what you can do in each menu. Then they go into how you can set CTCSS and DCS up on the radio, give you a specification sheet, and then it goes to some German warnings. At the time of filming this video, the radio is currently selling for $99.99 at radioddity.com. There will be a link in the description area. It's a 4 watt radio, as all CBs are. Gives you some options to buy antenna, speaker. Gives you the frequency range. Your tolerance, how much the input voltage is. And again, shows you what's in the box when you get it. The radio, removable microphone, bracket, fuse, spare fuse hook and spacers for the mounting bracket and mounting screws. Take a look at the radio. You got the main body here. Not much to tell except on the back you have your power cord which is permanently attached. You have speaker input and you have SO239 for your antenna and a heat sink on the back. Now for the microphone, on the left side you have your push to talk. On the top, channel up, down, power and mute button. On the front, you can switch from AM to FM and lock the microphone out. You can adjust your squelch. You can switch from emergency, which is the channel you're on, then you can go to nine or 19. It also gets you into the menu button by a long press and you have your volume up and down. Microphone is here in the center and your speaker is behind the M. One thing we definitely have to take care of. To get into the menu, you're going to press the emergency function button for about a second. That takes you in. And then to change the menu option, you quick press that and then use the up and down on the top of the microphone to change your setting. For color, you start with red, then you go to green, not sure how well you can see that, blue, Cyan, purple, yellow, clear, and back to red. Next one is beep. You can choose on or off. Then you have Roger beeps, and there's several of those. And off, which is where I shall leave it. Control. And if you wait too long like I did, it'll kick you back out into normal operating mode. And every time you go back in the menu, it starts you back off at the color selection. Again, this is mic gain control. Then you have scan type setting. Then these two are Vox. Then you have RF gain level control. Timeout timer, which is set to three minutes. The high cut setting, transmit noise reduction level setting, RX noise reduction level setting. Then you go into your CTCSS and the reset for taking it back to factory settings. And then to get out of it, you can either hit the F button or just wait and it'll kick you back into the normal operating mode. On the screen, it shows you're an FM. If you want to change to AM, you just use the top left button and you go to AM. It shows you're in CB, gives you a little meter scale. If you press the push to talk, you can see it goes all the way up and shows you that you're transmitting. If you need to mute the radio for a second, just go to the top and where you have the power button, it says MT, press that, and you can see that it puts the volume off. Take it off mute, just hit it again. If you want to scan through the channels, use the top button, top of the radio, 
Press and hold until you see a decimal point show up in between the zero and the nine. And then you see the decimal point flashing and it'll go through until it finds a channel that breaks squelch. Right now I have the volume down so you're not hearing anything. To get out of that, just hit the push the talk button and it takes you out of the scan mode. To adjust the squelch, press and hold the squelch ASQ button. First one it gives you is the ASQ and you can adjust that. Press and hold again and it gets you to squelch. Use the top buttons. And you have to move faster. It's going to kick you back out. And just use the buttons on the top to adjust what setting you want. And there's quite a few settings you can choose in there. Once you get set, just let it go and it'll go back to the normal operating mode. Choose your emergency channel. I'm on 16 right now. Push it once, takes you to the emergency channel 9. Push it again, takes you to the trucker channel. And a third press takes you back to the channel you were originally on. I've got the radio all hooked up to an antenna. The antenna I'm going to be using is a Stryker SRA-10. Can't see if we can't make a contact. Turn the volume up real quick. Anyone out there got it on? Anyone out there able to give me a traffic check on the 5 freeway, northbound? Well, not hearing anyone on 19. Okay, now we got the squelch turned up. Let's see if we can't find someone through scan. It looks like we're definitely getting some skip in. You got that guy coming in loud and proud from Illinois. Now, given my location, it's not a surprise that I'm not getting anyone on the freeway. Overall, I think this CS47 CB radio is a great radio. I love the fact that everything is on the mic. I don't have to worry about messing with the body. I can The body's small enough. I can hide it anywhere run an external speaker. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link and buy me a cup of coffee link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.